Hello, here's some guidance on how to use the um, Bradford score calculator and simple absence tracker. Um, <clears throat> so yes, you just, um, here's a table here. Um, so if you have an employee you want to track, you just put their data in here, the name, um, and then you put the period of absence in this column here, um, periods of absence, so they might have been absent once. Um, the Bradford score is usually done over a 52 week rolling period. Um, so as I say, at whatever point you might do it, you might decide, right, I'm going to check all the absences in June um, of this year or whatever. And then you go through and update the whole system then, and that would give you a nice rolling period average to look at. Um, so you could just do this at various points throughout the year, um, just to sort of check and see if there's anybody who's going into difficult territory. So yes, you put periods of absence, so that might be one. Then total days absence, you'll be finding that, they say that's two and it would automatically calculate the Bradford score here for you. Um, and you just keep going down and you can put all the employees in. And as you say, you might do this periodically, you know, a couple of times a year, two or three times a year to, to sort of get a track on what's going on. Um, at the moment, this system is set up so you can track 40 employees, but it's easily expandable. You just um, go down to the bottom, select the uh, four rows and just fill down and the formulas they're in here will um, continue to uh, appear. Um, and you will then be able to just continue. Um, so yes, uh, there's a nice little color scheme here which helps you just to see um, when things are getting sort of bad. Uh, traffic light system, um, that's all. Um, so that helps to see. Um, so in terms of interventions, um, so yes, what would to generally tend to happen once you hit the various trigger points, um, then some kind of action would sort of take place. Um, so um, that might include something like a return to work interview, which is where you would just really sort of interview them each time they come back from work. That helps to create a sort of put a bit of a barrier towards um, sickness that can help to reduce uh, absence that's been uh, shown. Um, health and well-being review, you might just want to proactively look at how they're doing things. Are they overworking? Are they too stressed? All that kind of stuff. Um, and then maybe disciplinary action may be needed if it's just getting too bad um, and too disruptive. So that's how you kind of use it. So um, that's it, really. Uh, thank you.